Hi guys. So I hope, first of all, everybody had a wonderful Samhain. It's funny, I woke up and went back to work this morning and uh, I feel a little better today because of that, I think. But, um, you know, it didn't occur to me that after Samhain meant November was here. I kind of, this morning was like, holy crap, November? November is here? That can't be right. Uh, so November is here, which means uh, the Wildwood Tarot has come out. Uh, I'm going to try to do a video later about what decks I want to use in November. Um, and I have kind of a surprise unboxing from eBay um, on something that, you know, sometimes I bid on stuff that I think there's no way that I'm ever going to win this because it's worth way more than that. So I just put the, a bid in because I'm like, eh, if it's that, I'll come up with it. So, of course, I did that in, like, the worst possible time. We're so broke. But somehow I came up with it. I literally only paid $20 for this, which I cannot believe. Um, and I forgot that it was coming completely. So I figured I'd open it up with you all and share with you my incredible luck. So this is the base. Oh, so cool. So this is the base for the crystal ball. And it's a vintage, all this stuff is antique, vintage, very cool. This is a uh, koi fish, I believe, right? So that is the base that holds it. And I did not bring my scissors, hold on one second. Okay, so now I have my scissors. So this is the crystal ball itself. It's an amber crystal ball, which is gorgeous. And it is, look at, it's hand blown, which is to me just the coolest thing. This is not like a manufactured crystal ball. This is glass amber, um, but Look at the imperfections on there, which is, to me, that makes it the best thing ever. I can see little imperfections all over there. When I read a uh, scry from a crystal ball, um, very much what I'm looking at is the imperfections and, and what symbols come up to me when I'm scrying with the light reflecting. And the light reflecting off of the imperfections is what makes the symbols for me. So I just adore this. I'm just totally psyched that that has come into my possession. And there's my husband's phone. How annoying. Okay, so this I'm actually going to put that aside because I want to show you that last. Um, This was the second thing that was in this lot, this fortune telling lot, which is a vintage dish uh, talking about palmistry. So it says, The mysteries of the hand revealed, palmistry for all your destiny divulged. Look at how cool that is. So for me, the, all this vintage stuff is just the coolest stuff ever. And that should be it, except for the book, which, yes. Um, so this is the fortune telling birthday book. And the copyright here, the reason I have my glasses on my head, is I believe it's like 1938, yep. 1938 good fortune birthday book and the copyright is 1938 so uh it has the first page here it's birthstones and flowers from your birth month meaning of the birthstones wedding anniversaries <laughs> Easter 1936 to 1960 
So Ash Wednesday and Easter, the dates for Ash Wednesday and Easter in a fortune telling book. Isn't that hilarious? Um, so then it starts with the dates. So you start with January 1st and you go all the way through and this is the, the you read your fortune based on the dates here. So I'm going to do mine is September 26th just so you get an idea of what it says. I just think this is so cute. And look at it's gilded edging. I don't know if you can see that. But so cool. From 1938. So the 26th. Okay. September 26th. You have much literary ability and read a great deal. That's true. You are ambitious, energetic, positive, and quite often stubborn. <laughs> no. Yes. You will do much for love, but will not be driven. Okay. You have many friends and are popular with them. All right. I probably could have many friends, but to be honest with you, I just haven't taken the time to do that. Your love is deep and steadfast. So that's pretty freaking cool. So I just wanted to share that with you. I'm so psyched. I just I adore old vintage stuff. I think it's the coolest stuff ever. So, the, I mean, 1938. This is, you know, close to 100 years old. So cool. I just love it. And then, of course, my little glass crystal ball here. I just, for $20, I can't believe that somehow that happened. Anyways, uh, I have quite a few videos that I have in my head uh, that now that November is here that I will be starting. I have kind of a list of things that I can do at work. So in my downtime at work, even though it's still kind of busy, I have a whole bunch of patients scheduled for tomorrow, but, um, I, it should slow down again and then I'll have sometimes I have like an hour between patients and then I can do a video so I'm going to try to do that so uh, blessings I hope you all have a wonderful day